Samsung. Oh, Mitsubishi? What are you doing here, man? Nobody invited you. We have a PS4 and I'm gonna be cleaning it and changing the thermal paste. Do I know what I'm doing? Not really, but we're gonna figure it out. It can't be that hard. So this is my PS4 and it was basically serving me as an air filter. You can see all the nice little dust that comes up. It does a good job as an air filter, but it does affect the performance. So we're gonna clean it up. I've already opened it up before, but usually there'd be like little plastic things. Unscrew. Now we can just pop this guy up. There we go. This just comes off and it's actually not bad since I last cleaned it. Eh, I just spoke too soon. So it's not the worst, but there is still a lot of dust and I just don't like having dusty stuff. So we're gonna clean it <clears throat> and change the thermal paste. Unscrew our power supply. The power supply likes to play hard to get, but if you wiggle it enough, it'll come out. There we go. And we're just gonna pull up on this cable and it comes off. The power supply tends to collect a lot of dust. You can actually I don't know where the screws are. There they are. Uh, you can actually unscrew it and clean it and then put it back together. I'm not gonna do that because I'm lazy. I'm just gonna do this. Now we can disconnect this cable by pushing down on this little metal thing and then pulling out the cable. We're gonna unscrew all of these guys and then we're gonna lift up this part too. Sony added their own little touch to their screw. It's kind of cute. Now we can just lift up this other cover. It's actually not too bad. We're just gonna quickly that's good enough. Unsnap this guy. There we go. Now we have to remove all of these screws. Unscrew. So my PS4 is pretty clean. If you haven't cleaned it ever, wear a mask or something. Be prepared to be absolutely disgusted with yourself. It's nothing personal. It's just these things uh, get really, really dirty. Okay, we got all the screws out. Now it's time to lift up this thing. We want to be a bit careful because there are thermal pads under this, I think. If we're not careful, we can lose them. These guys are the thermal pads. Also, you guys can't see it, but these are actually Samsung. Samsung is everywhere. Anyway, now we can pry up on our board. I need to disconnect the hard drive. Oops. We can pry up on our board and we gotta be really gentle because you can mess up a lot. I forgot to disconnect this guy, but you know, I'm nice to things so they don't break on me. So that is what's left of our thermal paste. So this is what our PS4 board looks like. Uh, it's pretty thick. If you guys didn't believe me the first time, Samsung. Oh, Mitsubishi? What are you doing here, man? Nobody invited you. So basically, we just have to clean up this big mess here. Thermal paste. We have to clean it up from there. And we have to clean up what's left of it on there and then replace it. And I know you guys are going to come at me for how much thermal paste I put. Just chill. Just just don't, please. Thank you. We're just going to use a cloth with some rubbing alcohol and just get rid of the excess thermal paste. Really get in there. So that looks pretty clean to me now. Um, we have to move our board aside and we, we're going to clean up this beautiful smudge of thermal paste. We don't want any of the old paste because it's old and it sucks so we're done cleaning now we can get our thermal paste and we can put just a little pea-sized blob you guys are gonna make fun of me no matter how much i put so just um just chill that's enough if, if you guys if you guys get mad at that amount i have to spread it around and i don't have the thingy that it came with so i'm just gonna use a spudger that looks good to me so we're gonna turn this around and we're gonna get it installed again there we go nice now we can reinstall our little cable. There we go. Put our hard drive back in and put this guy back on. That's a thick screw. I could have went further and cleaned the radiator while I have it open. It's probably not that dirty. The cool thing about these PS4s is they actually have arrows pointing at where the screw should be. It's almost like they want you to be in there. Now we can put our cover back on. And I think there's a crunch on this guy. Hit that crunch. Ooh, that was nice. Let's turn our PS4 around. Reinstall our little blue cable. Click in this guy and reinstall our power supply that crunch oh that's nice no crunch we're gonna clean up our cover a little bit and we're done it's pretty clean we're gonna just pop it back on that crunch we have to put in these last bit of screws all done let's turn it around now we can slide this back on there we go we're gonna test it out and see if it's still working you should let the thermal paste dry first but i'm just gonna do it anyway moment of truth and we're good to go i'm gonna put the microphone beside the ps4 so you can hear what it's actually supposed to sound like because I'm sure yours sounds like an airplane. It's supposed to be that quiet. Anyway, guys, that is all for today. Um, we cleaned the PS4 and we got the thermal paste changed. Uh, if you guys want to do this yourself, I suggest cleaning it yourself, but the thermal paste is a bit harder to do. If you're feeling a little crazy, why not? I'm going to play some Rocket League. Peace out. Hope you guys liked the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.